Hey again, everyone, Tony Winston here for Jazz Piano College, but this video is for everyone, whatever instrument you may play. Uh, even a vocalist, I think, could uh, do this. We're going to trade fours on the blues, and I'm using Jamie Abersold's Blues in All Keys, and today we're going to be in the key of F, very common key for the blues, especially in jazz. I have the left channel on, which is just the bass and the drums, and I will be playing the chords, and I will play you know, four bars of, uh, of F blues. Like that, and then four bars for you. And since the blues has 12 bars, we kind of alternate where in the blues form we are playing. Let me go over the blues scale in a several different keys, because if you're an alto saxophone player, you're gonna be playing, I think, in D, or a baritone sax. Or if you're playing trumpet, you'll be playing in G. So in F, there is our blue scale. And also there's this blue scale. All right. Kind of works better going up, because when you come down, you kind of get to that, which, you know, I mean, parts of it work great going down like that, or here. Really, that's the best place right there, okay? Uh, and then, you know, you can mix the two scales together. Okay, now, if you're playing a uh, B-flat instrument like trumpet or, what's that another one? The basic blues scale. or the other one. And I will have to say, too, that if you stick to the basic blues scale, you're good in no, no matter what the chord is, even if it goes to C. But look, that's got the major third. That doesn't work so good when it goes to the four chord. You could go on that, you know, but then you're having to switch around to a bunch of different scales. And uh, since it's probably mostly beginners playing with me, uh, I don't want to make it too difficult. Alto sax uh, will be playing in D. F, Thank you. 
Sounded good. Good playing there. And uh, I enjoyed it too. 